Once your peer review is assigned, here's what you're going to do. Navigate over to the assignment page. Take a few minutes to review the rubric so you understand the criteria you're looking for in your peer's liquid syllabus. Next, look up here on the right side of the screen. Under the submission heading, you'll see one person's name. That's your assigned peer review. When you're ready to begin, click on the name. This will open their submission. You'll see a link to the liquid syllabus. To open the liquid syllabus, you'll need to click on View in a new tab. That will open the liquid syllabus. Take time to review it against the rubric criteria. Take some notes to help guide you in your video feedback. To prepare for your screencast recording, be sure to keep two tabs open, the liquid syllabus and the submission page. Now let's go back to the submission page. In the upper right, select Show Rubric. You'll use the rubric to conduct your peer review. So if the participant has met all of the criteria, you'll select Bravo. If one has not been met, you will select Almost There and leave a comment in that little bubble field over to the right. In the Add a Comment box is where you'll paste the link to your video feedback recording. Once you've completed the rubric and pasted the link to your video in the comment area, select Save. You've now completed the peer review and you'll see that there's now a check mark just before the name of the participant. 